the blood prevails, the blood prevails, just like in olden days, no matter what the people say, the blood prevails, the blood prevails, I know the blood prevails, oh yes, the blood prevails, the blood prevails. Just like in olden days, no matter what the people say, the blood prevails, the blood prevails. I know the blood prevails. Thank God the blood prevails, the blood prevails. Just like in olden days, no matter what the people say, the blood prevails, the blood prevails. I know the blood prevails. Thank God the blood prevails, the blood prevails. Just like in olden days, no matter what the people say, the blood prevails, the blood prevails. I know the blood prevails. Thank God the blood prevails, the blood prevails. Just like in olden days, no matter what the people say, the blood prevails, the blood prevails. I know the blood prevails. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Dorothy 314. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. God bless you, Reese. Good morning, good morning. God bless you, Minister Rose. God bless you, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you, Sister Saunders. Thank God for you. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. Sister Cook Jones, thank God for you. Sister Saunders, good morning. Sister Jackson Perry, God bless you. Brother Terrence and your family, good morning. Sister Donaldson, God bless you. Good morning, good morning. God bless you. Sister Margaret Speller, thank God for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Bailey, God bless you. Sister Green, God bless you. God bless you. Sister Carson, Good morning, Sister Little. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Bailey. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Cooper. Good morning to you. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Little. God bless you, Duchess. Good morning to you. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. My background is dark because our power is out. We had woke up to a power outage, but thank God for charged batteries and, and Wi-Fi wi technology that's allowed us to be able to continue prayer this morning. God is good because more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we are certainly in prayer for everyone in the southeastern United States that has become um, under the hand of Helene, storm that ravaged through Florida and Georgia and still don't know the extent of the damages. And we won't know a lot until the sun rises today and people can see what has taken place. But I thank God we the only thing that I'm aware of in my area is the um, power outage. But we thank God for even being able to mitigate that because once again, more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And so every day we witness and see the manifestation of God, God's protecting hand upon us, God covering us with his blood. And we're praying that there'll be minimal damage as a result of what was supposed to be a devastating hurricane. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it 
in the chat on the screen or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's on the conference call, everybody that's on YouTube, we thank God for you. We thank God for you being able to join us today. Hallelujah. Just text in your prayer request to 336 five six seven five three five eight that number is three three six five six seven five three five eight we're adding it to the prayer list we're praying over it and we are believing god with you for miracle signs and wonders let's go to the word everybody in the book of proverbs we're going to return where we were on yesterday we had such a um enriching um discussion yesterday that we want to and we didn't get do anything but one of the verses. So we're going to try to get back to that this morning. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse number 9. And we're going to read through verse number 12. It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desireth evil. His neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise, and when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. A righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked, but God overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. But God overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. I want to continue the thought we started yesterday, brawling women and evil men brawling women and evil men. We spent a lot of time yesterday discussing relationships based on the scripture that it is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman, which um, we unpack to mean um, a person that is nagging, a person that is quarrelsome, a person that is fault finding. And, and there are some people that, because of the nature of their spouse, have decided or it has been decided for them that they are better off alone. And that's a sad thing. And because God hates divorce, it's a sad thing because we never want to see a union that God has joined separated and, and pulled away and torn apart. And that's why it's important that people learn how to live together that people learn how to conduct themselves in the relationship, that people learn how to love and to listen and forgive and to be able to navigate through changes. Life has changes. Life has a series of changes. And if you live long enough, you're going to live in and through those changes. But when you understand that the same love that God has given us, we should give to our spouses. We should give to our children. We should give to the members of the church. We should give to just people in general. It makes a profound difference. Hallelujah. Learning how to be slow to speak, swift to hear, and slow to wrath. Learning how to manage one another and learning how to love each other as Christ has loved us. That's the standard. I shared this in Bible study on Wednesday that the only standard of forgiveness is the standard that comes from Jesus Christ. And that is that because he forgave us, we ought to forgive one another. Hallelujah. Because he has loved us, we ought to love one another. Verse 10 goes on to say, the soul of the wicked desireth evil. The soul of the wicked is seeking after evil. Hallelujah. So strongly does he seek to do evil that he will not even spare his neighbor. Hallelujah. He won't even spare a friend. When somebody is bent to do evil, they'll do anything. They'll say anything. They'll act in any kind of way possible because evil is driving them. And you can tell people driven by evil because they just don't care. They don't care how you feel. They don't care how others feel. They don't care about other people's thoughts or opinions. They don't care who they hurt because they are driven by evil. And they're driven by evil because that soul is wicked. That soul is wicked. That soul is 
so um, turned away from God that it takes out its aggression on anybody that is in the way, anybody possible. We, we, we see the extent sometimes when we see these mass killings and these mass murderers. Those are people driven by evil, but you don't have to be a mass murderer to be an evil person. If you are a gossip who gossips indiscriminately and doesn't care who you're hurt or who gets hurt by your evil words, that's that evil coming to pass. If you always have an attitude with somebody, if you always have a conflict, if you're always arguing and fussing, you're going to do ugly things because it is who you are. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And when people are always speaking evil, it is an indicator of what is actually in their heart. And even your neighbor, even your friend, because you know what? That evil becomes betrayal at a certain point. That evil becomes turning your back on people who have been there and helped you and prayed for you and supported you. But yet in your evil, you will turn even against them. Look at what the Bible says in verse 11. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. That some of us don't understand and some of us don't see the value of knowledge or wisdom or spiritual truth or hallelujah, the word of God until there is a consequence. When there's a consequence, then some people, their eyes open. But while they are in the midst of whatever they're dealing with, once again, many of them just don't care. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who is damaged. They don't care who is impacted by what they do, but when the consequences come, then that sometimes opens up the eyes and makes the simple wise. When there's a consequence, when there's punishment, when there's something negative that takes place because of something that they have done, then the simple is made wise. Some of us, you know, this is my phrase, and please forgive me if you think it's offensive, but my phrase is some people don't understand anything but a brick. Oh, hallelujah. They don't understand kind words. They don't understand wisdom. They don't understand anything but a rock upside their head. And sometimes it's not until God starts punishing that people realize that we have to govern our behavior according to the word of God, not according to my feelings or my thoughts or my whatever at the moment, but I want to live hallelujah by the word of God. And you want to do it before judgment comes. Oh God, when judgment comes and you know what, there are some people whose hearts are are so hardened that even when judgment comes, they ignore the judgment of God. They ignore the wrath of God. They ignore what God is saying or doing. They ignore all of it. All they do, all they do is persist in their ways. There are people that will see the wrath of God that comes by the antichrist, that comes by the final judgment, and they will be on their way to the lake and still not repenting because their heart is that hard. Lord, give me a heart that will hear your word. Lord, give me a heart that can be turned, my God, to righteousness. Lord, give me a heart that will repent when I see your judgment at work. Lord, give me that heart. Don't let me be so stubborn, oh my God, and so willful that I miss the opportunity to repent while there is time. Look at the latter clause of verse 11. When the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. This is how you tell a wise person because a wise person, the Bible says a wise man will hear and increase learning. Somebody that's wise wants to know more. Somebody that's wise wants to please God. Somebody that is wise wants to know what is the will of God. And yes, somebody that is wise even wants to know when they're wrong. If I made a mistake, if I've come up short, if somehow I have done something that has displeased God, I want to know it. I don't want to walk around in ignorance pretending that I'm right when I'm really wrong. Lord, show Show me, Ashiatama, show me my ways. That's why, hallelujah, David or, or the psalmist said, Lord, search me and know me and try what is in my heart. Don't let me wander about thinking foolishly that I'm in the will of God when I'm actually not in the will of God. Lord, open my eyes, open my ears. Let me hear what the word says. Let me hear what the Holy Spirit says. Let me hear what God is trying to show me. Show me the light, Lord, he shut Show me the light so I can see and know what is your will for my life. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The wise heareth. 
hallelujah, and is instructed and receiveth knowledge. Verse number 12, the righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked. The righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked. What does the wise man do? The wise man takes note of the wicked. You know, I, you know, I, I said this a, a few days ago that experience is the best teacher, but it's a very expensive teacher. It's a very, it's, it's expensive to learn from your own mistakes. It costs you. It costs the people that you love to learn from your own mistakes. If you can learn from the mistakes of others, you benefit, you benefit, you benefit. I've been listening to um, the news reports. Hallelujah. I was listening to the reports and the advice of hallelujah. Those leaders of our government telling us don't drive in standing water. If you see the water there, don't just, and you think it, you don't think you can get through it or you think you can get through it because you have an SUV or you've got big tires or you've got a sturdy car. They said, don't do that. Don't do that. And you know why they said that? Because people have died in the water. Hallelujah. They survived the wind and they died in the water. They got out there and said, I can get out there. Hallelujah. And because they have learned from the mistakes of people who lost their lives or risked their lives, they're telling us, and I hope everybody listens, if you're in a storm impacted area, don't drive through that water. Turn around and go back the other way. Find another route, but don't drive through that water. Don't wade through that water. There are all kinds of power lines or snakes or whatever in that water. And you need to be able to learn from other people's mistakes. You need to be able to learn. A young man, I remember, I forget what hurricane it was, but he was trying to get somewhere and he was trying to do a good thing, but he didn't follow directions. He was wading in the water, not knowing there was a power line in the water and he was electrocuted in the water. God, learn from the mistakes of other people so you don't risk your own life. Learn from the mistakes of others because look at what the Bible says. God overthrows the wicked for their wickedness. It's still a truth that God judges unrighteousness. It's still a truth that God judges, hallelujah, oh God, sin. It's still a truth that God judges, hallelujah, those that fail to honor and to hear his word. But take heed to the word, saints. Live by the word. Walk in the word. Abide in the word and allow God to direct your life and allow God to favor your life because God still overthrows the wicked. The wicked still are punished for their wickedness. Oh God, everybody, let me, I'm going to say this, hallelujah, I'm not trying to cast dispersions, but I'm just trying to tell truth. Everybody that dies doesn't die because it's the will of God. Some people die because they're outside of the will of God. Some people suffer because they're outside of God's plan and God's ordinance and God's purpose. Some people die because they refuse to take instruction and to hear instruction, but be able, my God, be able, my God, to hear from God, be able to obey the word of God, be able to live by the word of God, be able, hallelujah, to honor the word of God. And if it's a struggle in your flesh, ask the Holy Ghost to help you, ask the Holy Spirit to give you grace, ask the Holy Spirit to give you the mind and then do what the Holy Spirit says, because God is trying to honor, oh God, his word and God is going to honor his word in all of us. Hallelujah. Don't be a brawling woman. Don't be an evil man. Don't be an evil woman. Oh God, but seek the Lord. Hallelujah. I got to close while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and seek the Lord. Hashatama, who will abundantly pardon, who will save and deliver. God, help us. God, help us to do the will of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for goodness, mercy, love, and kindness. I thank you, God, for protection and safety. Lord, not only for myself, but for those that are around. Lord, I thank you because you cover, you protect, you strengthen on every side. And Lord, I thank you for all that you do for us. Lord, we would not be here 
if it hadn't been for your mercy. So, God, I thank you for last night's rest, and I thank you for waking us this morning just to minor inconvenience. But you kept us, hallelujah. You're keeping those who are in the midst of this storm, and we thank you for your hand of protection upon everybody. God, I thank you, Lord, that we were able to get up and get prepared and join this great cadre of believers, God, from all over the world. I thank you for the morning prayer family. And whether we have come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call, thank you that we are in the prayer room today. And my God, send your anointing, your power, your grace, your glory into the prayer room today. Lord, to minister to the needs of everybody that is here. God, I pray right now, especially for your hand of protection and your grace to be upon everybody that was impacted by Hurricane Helene. God, we pray, oh God, for, oh God, your protection, your covering, your grace. God, that you would allow power to be restored, that you would allow safety to be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying for everybody on this prayer list today. I'm praying for every name, God, whether it's sent by the text or chat or messenger or email, however it's come, God, we're praying for your hand to be upon people right now. We're praying, my God, for Florida and Georgia and North and South Carolina. We're praying, my God, for New Birth Apostolic Ministries. We're lifting up Bishop and Lady Holden today. We're praying for C.C. Stewart. We're praying for Hope and Danae. We're praying for Bruce. We're praying for Mary Bennett's grandson. We're praying for Andrea King Jones and her husband. We're praying for the Clayton family, for Kevin, for Kevin Jr. We're praying, my God, for Renee Brantley Jones, oh God, and her job. We're praying for Teresa. We're praying for Kenneth Perry and his family. We're praying for Johan and Aaron. We're praying for the Dowing family, the Moyer family, Michael Jefferson, Belinda Scales and family. We're praying for Rosetta Finn and family. God, we're praying for, oh God, Patrick and Alexis. We're praying for Mary. Hallelujah, R. Martin. We're praying for Tanisha today. We're praying for Davina, for Terrell, for Mandel. We're praying for Thomas J. We're praying for the Roseford family, the Bowman family. We're praying, my God, for Latasia, oh God, and her family. We're praying for Stacey and Trayvon this morning. We're praying for Dominique today in the name of Jesus Christ. We're lifting up everybody. My God that's in need today. Everybody that needs a miracle. God, we're praying for them right now. We're praying that you remember Sister Sheila Reed today. Lord, touch her body in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson today. Oh God, give strength for God and provision. Remember Irvin Johnson. God, bring deliverance. Remember Vanessa Chambers, the household of faith. Remember, my God, the Ecclesia Diocese, the Leeward Islands Diocese, Lord Region 7, my God, every church, every pastor, every bishop, every first lady. Remember the Overcoming Church of Asheville. Remember, my God, Bible Way number one, my God in Augusta. I'm praying for Veronica, for Brianna, for VJ, for Zamonte. I'm praying for the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ everywhere. The Board of Apostles, the Board of Bishops, the Board of Presbyters. Lord God, every woman's auxiliary, every youth auxiliary. God, the music department, the ushers. Lord, every congregation, every diocese, every region. God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for the Austin family today. I'm praying for Bishop Monty Norwood today, God. I'm praying for his safe travel. We're praying for Dexter and Sean and Bridget and Susan Maynard. And we're praying for the Leon and Reed families. We're praying for Mother Bernard today. We're praying for Diamond and we're praying for Tyree and Bradley and Robert Davis and Maurice Barnes today. We're praying for Kia, for Angelica Bradley, for Dolores Washington, for Kimmy, for Latasia this morning. We're praying, my God, for Abigail, for Kenya. We're praying for the Department of Social Services in Virginia. We're praying for Kyan and Keelan. We're praying for Sam Crowder today, for Lawanda Rutledge. We're praying for Sherman Giles, for Mary Giles, for Joe Giles, for Ray Harrison, for Barbara Ash, for Adonis Rucker today, for Sheena Robertson, for Dorothea Rucker, for Greta Fuller, Sam Sanchez today, for Aubrey Blackwell, for Mother Bernard, for Deacon and Mother Wilkins today, for Lady Sarah Wilkins, oh God, in her project. We're praying for the Brown and Treadwell families, for Raylene, for Bria, for Vaughn and Kim, for Darnell, for Jamal and Dakasha Greer and the Greer family, for Terrence and Manessa Greer, for Brittany Cole today. We're praying for Kevin, Kenneth Perry and his family. God, every name on the prayer list. We're praying for Ricky, my God, and Tony. God, I'm praying that you would save my God. 
God to the utmost. Save God, wash in your blood, deliver from sin, destroy the yoke of the enemy, God, and redeem by your power in the name of Jesus. And let them be born of the water and of the spirit. God, I'm praying that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ, the backslider, God, reclaim, restore. Oh God, bring back to the fold and deliver. And God, remember everybody that's downcast, everybody that's broken, everybody that's burdened, everybody that's depressed or in despair. And God, deliver in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying for the sick today everywhere. I'm lifting up my God, Charity Stroman. God, heal the body, the soul, and the spirit. I'm praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. I'm praying for Kathleen Murphy Jackson. I'm praying for Deborah's friend. I'm praying for Mother Reva's Mother Brian and Mother Sharp. I'm praying for Sister Gertrude Austin, Sister Sandy Jones, for Kiara Mitchum today, for Daphne Bullock. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, oh God, Sister Black today, Tina Parrish, Zeline Richardson today. Remember Bridget. Remember Teresa Holt. Remember Anita Bryant today. Remember Mother Moya this morning. Remember Sister Edwards. Lord, we lift up Apostle James May. We pray for healing right now for the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We're praying for Mariah. We're praying for Mother Lula Jenkins today, for Jasmine Jones, for the Jenkins family, for the Jones family, for Elder Benjamin Fomby in the name of Jesus, for Miracle Smith, for Priscilla, for Jason, for Margie Myrick today, for Sheila Reed, for Tammy Givens. God, we're praying for everybody, my God, that is suffering in their bodies. God, touch them and heal. Remember Lady Davis today, Geneva, Dariana, Azaria, Phoenicia, God. Remember Bishop Michael Austin. Remember, my God, Sister Sarah, oh God, Corden today. Remember Mother Florence May, Mother Norma Berry. Remember, my God, Christy Harrison's husband. Remember Sister Daphne Bullock today. Remember Seymour and Doris Staten. Remember Audrey Williams today, Elvira Ransom, Rickay Johnson today, Kena Bailey. Remember Laura Boone this morning. Remember, my God, Charlene Gordon. Remember Fred and Teresa Robinson. Remember Ron and Latora Bogues. Remember, my God. Mr. Kimber today. Remember my God, Deacon Wilson. Remember Edna Hicks. Remember Diane. Remember Misha today. Remember Isaiah. Remember Clyde Gomes and his wife. Remember my God, Sarah Williams today. Remember Christian. Remember Raymond Dabney. God, I'm praying today for your healing virtue. Oh God, on Minister Perkins, on Daniel and Xavier. Remember my God, Deacon Adams. Remember Deacon and Mother Wilson. Remember my God, Deacon and Sister Harrison today. Remember Brother Phil Solomon, my God. God. Remember, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Remember, my God, Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll, Elder Dokes, Mother Virgin DuBose, Mother Mary Williams. My God, remember in the name of Jesus, Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry. Oh God, Mother Meadows today. Remember Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman. Remember, my God, Missionary Jesse Brisbane. Remember Missionary Hodges today. Sister Denise McLean, God, remember her. Remember in the name of Jesus, Mother, hallelujah, remember. Oh, God, Mother Elizabeth Wilson today. Remember Brother Carl. Remember Deacon James Grant, Philip Grant today. My God, I'm praying for Pastor and Lady Winston. I'm praying that you remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bishop and Mother D. Remember. In your precious name, hallelujah. Oh, God, Apostle and Lady Keith today. Remember, my God, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Remember Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today, Sister Shakaya Polk, Mother Carol Coleman. Remember Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Reginald Griffin, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Johnny Davis, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop Thomas Aaron today. Remember Mother Viola Johnson, Lady J, Lady Williams, Mother Hardy, Lady Barbara Vincent today. Remember Lady Pamela Davenport. Remember Lady, oh God, Deborah Carter today. We pray, my God, for Apostle Hugh Dale Rowe, Apostle Herbert Edwards. Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood today. We pray for Brother Wiggins, for Brother and Mother Sherrod. We pray today that you remember, my God, Mother Garland. We're praying, God, that you would remember in the name of Jesus, Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, Dr. Haywood's mother. We're praying, my God, for Mother Jill and Mother Pride. God, we lift up today, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, my God, Brother Keith, Lady Staten 
today. We're praying, my God, for healing, my God, upon Minister Carr, upon, my God, Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today, Mother Foster, Henry J., and Brother Cliff, Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons, God. We're praying, God, that you remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. We're praying for Marlette. We're praying for Maurice today, for Tony, for Dennis, for Kimberly. God, we're praying today, my God, that you remember Chris, God. Remember Cynthia. Remember, my God, Mother Jackson today. Remember, my God, Apostle Moultrie. God, go and visit every hospital, my God, and bring healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're praying today, oh God, for sister, for the bereaved, the grieving everywhere. God, touch them and comfort them and strengthen them. We're praying, my God, for Sister Tammy Patterson and her family, for Deacon and Mother Ganey, my God, remember them. Remember, my God, Deacon Clark. Remember Eleanor Simpson, Sister Croxton. Remember Pastor and Lady Fears and the Greater Ecclesia Church of the Poconos. Remember Lady Yolanda Thomas and her family. Remember, my God, oh God, Sister Marjorie Thomas and her family, Apostle and Mother Clark and the Christ Temple family, Mother Beverly Hargrove today, the Hargrove family and the Terry family. Remember the Forehands and the Michaels and the Jenkins family and the Davenports. Remember Deacon Shannon and the Davenports of Connecticut. Remember Edna Peace today. Remember Bis Minister Leon Swanigan. Remember the Burton family, Sean and Braylon and Michelle. God, remember everybody everywhere that is grieving. God, give them comfort and peace. Remember the family of Mother Ruby Harrison today, the family of Robert Bobby Joyner, the family of Cornelius Lamar Harrison. Remember Faye Walker and family, the family of Barbara Price, the Price family. Remember the family of Sarah Otterson. God, remember Deacon and Mother Wilson today. Remember, my God, the family of Mary Thomas. Remember Minister Jamie Carr and his family. Remember, my God, Mother Sally Carr and the family. Remember, my God, in your precious name. My God, remember in the name of Jesus, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family, the family of Theodore Galloway, the family of Quentin Majerin Mitchell today, Yolanda and Alana. Remember, my God, Leon Murphy today, the Reeves family, Jackie Keene and family. Remember the family, the Thompson family of Connecticut. Remember, my God, the Peace family, the Jones family, the Gunter family. Remember, my God, the Green family today, the Ingram family. Remember Deacon Edward Jones and family. Remember the Patterson family family, Sandy and family, the Rankins family, God, every grieving family everywhere. We're praying, God, that you would touch them, strengthen them, deliver them, keep them in the hollow of your hand. My God, we're praying today that you remember Mother Moy and Mother Walker, Jalisa and Jackie and Jerry, Takesha, Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. Remember, my God, oh God, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. God, remember in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, hallelujah. Remember Dr. Carter and family, Apostle fields and family. God, remember every grieving family everywhere. We pray, God, that you will remember in the name of Jesus, the Quarles family, Mother Harrelinda family. My God, remember Mother Jacqueline Grant. My God, strengthen her and strengthen her family. I pray, my God, for the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family, the Meadows, the Moyer family. My God, remember in the name of Jesus, the Perkins family. Remember Remember the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom, and her sisters. I pray for the White family, for Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. I pray, my God, for the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family, the Nunn family, the Umstead family. Remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, remember in the name of Jesus, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Pearl the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, my God, the Winninghams, God, remember the Taylors, remember, my God, the Middletons, I pray for the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, God, remember the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs, God, look on the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors, God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the Austins, remember the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin family, Family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, remember them, cover them, keep them in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. God, remember the young people of the church. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, the entire church. God, strengthen the church. Help the church to walk and 
live in righteousness. Oh God, remember all of our relationships and keep us, my God, in a spirit of love. God, I pray today that you remember first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you remember school employees and students everywhere. I pray, God, that you look on everybody that works, cover them, keep them, protect them. My God, in the name of Jesus, look on everybody that needs a job, create an opportunity. Everybody on a fixed income or needs provision, God, open a door and make a way. And everybody that's homeless, God, oh God, open a door for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this troubled world. My God, trouble on every hand, but you remain the bomb in Gilead. You remain the great physician. You remain the only wise God. And we pray, my God, that you would keep us and heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land, my God, from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. God, and let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you. Oh, Shatama Saya. We need you, God, like never before. Cover us, keep us, protect us, bless us today, God. And we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, join me right now in giving God the praise. Everybody on the line, come on, join me in giving God the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. When the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. When the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. Hallelujah. Just by the wisdom, hallelujah, that God provides and just by being willing to learn. Hallelujah. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care how long you've been saved. There's still more that we can learn. Hallelujah. There's still more that God is trying to show us, that God is trying to reveal to us. Hallelujah. So be open to receive from God. Don't be hard hearted. Don't be stiff necked. Be open to receive from God so that you can receive the favor and the blessings of God. The Bible says a wise man will hear and increase learning. A man of understanding will attain unto wise counsel. Be able to learn, saints. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those who join us by conference call. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church PO Box 3552 Burlington, North Carolina 27215 That's PO Box 3552 Burlington, North Carolina 27215 You can also give online. Our website is www refuge temple n is in north c is in carolina refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page you can also give through the givelify app just type in refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there or if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital o n e capital r e f u g e one refuge one refuge and you Excuse me, you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your gifts. But we thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family because God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying together. By the grace of God, on tomorrow at 2 o'clock, I'll be at Greater Refuge Church in Henderson, North Carolina with Pastor and Lady Winston in the celebration of the church's 56th anniversary. On that after that evening, I'll be in Tidewater, Virginia at the Hampton Convention Center with Bishop 
Eric and Lady Sharon Jackson in the celebration of their 10th anniversary as the pastor and first lady of Living Waters Redeemed Apostolic Church of Christ. So we have a full day. Pray for our traveling mercies. And if you can be with us, be with us because I know God is going to bless us. Look, everybody understand how much we love the morning prayer family. We thank God for each of you. Please keep coming. Keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father, my sisters. Pray for our nieces, our nephews. Pray for my in-laws, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that God would strengthen us. The Lord allow our wisdom, hallelujah, to be strengthened through greater knowledge of him. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.